Again, the really tough temperatures continue across the area, and we're sending it out to uh, Kelsey Kushner, who's in Baltimore County now, with some tips on how you can protect yourself and your pets. Kelsey, uh, how are things looking out there right now? Well, Derek, you know, these conditions can be very dangerous, not just for us, but also for our pets. Health experts say you want to do whatever you can to keep yourself cool and safe. The heat is on in Maryland. Tuesday's temperatures reached record highs, prompting the city to issue a code red extreme heat alert. Nine cooling centers open their doors to help people cool off. It's nice and cool when the side building beats cool that dirty heat. And with the brutal heat expected to continue throughout the week, health experts warn it could get dangerous. When we don't have that break, the effects build up on the body and it just becomes much more heightened and much more at risk. And it's not just our health that's a cause for concern. I brought her here so she could cool off because it's so hot. The heat can also impact our four legged friends. She's obsessed with the water. As you can tell, she's really excited to get in. The Hillcrest Swim Club opened up its pool for puffs Tuesday night. Love it. We had a Chesapeake Bay retriever here who would not get out of the water. At the Maryland SPCA, dogs stayed inside in the AC. Even on a sunny day, 70 degrees, the, uh, the concrete and the asphalt, if it's in direct sunlight, can get over 100 degrees. So you can imagine if it's almost 100 degrees outside, that gets even hotter, and that can be dangerous. Um, especially for dogs who have a fur coat on all of the time. Nicole Miller with the SPCA says if you have to take your dogs out, keep the walk short. Check the temperature of the sidewalk or asphalt with the back of your hand to make sure it's safe for your pup's paws. And always check for signs of overheating. Panting, drooling, uh, just losing energy quickly. If they start to look um, wobbly um, and, or start to vomit, then it really is needed that you go and seek emergency services. Now, there will be a number of cooling centers open in both Baltimore City and the county through Thursday. For a full list, head over to our website, WJZ.com. For now, reporting live, Kelsey Kirshner for WJZ. Kelsey, thank you. Staying on the topic of this heat and how dangerous it can be, we have an update from some of our local school districts tonight. For students in Baltimore City who attend schools without AC, they will continue to operate on an adjusted schedule for the rest of the week. Outdoor athletic games and practices have also been canceled for all city schools tomorrow. That same advisory is in place for Baltimore County schools. Indoor activities will continue as scheduled.